Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new here. Today I am going to be showing this rewind plan with me using a old format crust press kit. I got it in a random poll. Um, the matte stickers were actually shrinking, which is weird, but the underlays are from Girlball Santa and I'm doing rose gold with the kit. I use the Sticky Essentials Overlay um, header overlay tapes as well as the Caress Press Overlay um, on like the patterned washi part and a Scroll Prince Co. like bow washi overlay on the 15 millimeter I pulled that 15 millimeter in but it's from like this I don't know old shop that was like scamming people and whatever so I just I want it in a giveaway and I pulled it into this kit because I thought it matched also I use rose gold date numbers from Planet Hannah when I get there um, I am doing this in my Oristel cloud and it's in Lilac Daydream and I use the Oristel inserts in this cloud. Um, yeah. So this week actually marks one year since I started my planner Instagram, which is Carly Plans. Um, it is linked below in the description. Um, also... My husband and I caught up on the Crime Junkies podcast and we finished the 1000 Piece Friends puzzle, which was absolutely ridiculous. Like, I had such a headache for days because there's like two spots that had like just black and you had to figure out which piece went where just basically by putting them all in the same spot and finding the one that fits. Um... There was probably about a hundred when we first started that. And then my husband, thank God, he got most of it finished because I was about to just throw it out the window. These So the tweezers I'm using are from Sassy Planner Co. And I do PR for her. So I have a code. If you put Carly20 in at checkout, you get 20% off your order as well as my exclusive freebie. Um, these are... Like, I cannot plan without tweezers. Also, the date covers were, like, a little weird because they weren't, like, just square. They were, like, I don't know, cut weird. Um, we also started and finished The Mandalorian this week. Um, I cried, but I don't think that it was at the part that, like, everybody else did. Um... That one part, I don't know, wasn't that shocking to me. If it had happened at the end, then maybe, but that's all I'm going to say. And then I did buy the first Bridgerton book on my Kindle, and I started reading that. And by started reading that, I mean I literally read like the prologue. And then haven't touched it since. So that's been like a week and a half now. Um, and then this week is the week that I posted my super long haul. It's like an hour and a half. And it took like 27 years to edit that video. Like I think I started at, I don't know, early afternoon or early evening. And literally didn't finish it until close to midnight. It was wild. And I probably will never do a haul that long again. Um, I also slept like shit for a few days this week, which doesn't surprise me because that seems to be a trend lately. Um, literally, like, I wake up at 3 o'clock in the morning and I don't know if... You guys know the significance of 3 a.m., but it's supposed to be like witching hour, which means that there's, I don't know, spiritual activity 
but I wish that whatever it was would just leave me alone because I'm sick of waking up at 3 o'clock and not being able to fall back asleep. I also, like, I don't know, virtually attended my first Instagram live auction. Um, my friend Gina lives by this crystal place who does live auctions every Sunday. And her and I decided to talk to each other while we, I guess, not really won, like, claimed some crystals and rocks and such. It was pretty fun. I have yet to get that in the mail, but um, I'll be posting a picture, at least, of what I got on my Instagram. She also lives in Colorado, so it kind of felt like we were hanging out. And then my friend Krista, uh, her name on Instagram is KmarinePlans underscore. She started her YouTube this week. Um, so if you're not already, you should go and find her on YouTube and subscribe and support her. She does wax melt videos too, which makes me spend entirely too much money on them. But I guess I'm not complaining. I also um, organized stickers this week, which actually was my foil. I think in my last plan with me, I said it was my foil, but I did organize my character stickers that week. And then I ordered like the three inserts for, sorry, I meant like the three pocket inserts for my foil. Um, my organization before was a mess and now it's a hell of a lot easier to find what I'm looking for. Um, I literally have like binders on binders of stickers and one day I am going to get around to filming a collection video. Um, not sure when that day is going to be though. Alright, I throw on the weekend banner and then I get into the day by day. So first I'm putting the month up at the top and that's from Kinsey's Creations. And then my sidebar habit trackers are meds from Kinsey's Creations and skincare from Planner Choco. And then I use a Instagram icon from Crafty Planner Co, which I do PR for. Um, my code is Carly15. And if you use that, you can get 15% off and my freebie. But I use that to mark my one year planogram anniversary. And then I use these glitter flags to mark um, remote learning this week. Uh, I mark it the same every day with this Mr. and, Miss, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Mint laptop and the remote learning script that I made myself. Um, and then I use a quarter box with a plan for happy um, like switch doodle and Animal Crossing script from... Alyssa's Craft Shop to mark that I played Animal Crossing. And then below that, I used like this weird little box with the flag on it. And I cover up the flag with a Erica G Designs um, like YouTube icon and use a Planahanna YouTube inch script to obviously mark that I watched YouTube. And then this was the day that I organized my foil, so I'm using a Crafty Planner Co. sticker sheet icon and a organized sticker script from Planahanna to mark that. And then I use this circle icon from Planahanna, which she doesn't have in shop anymore. And a Oops I Bought More Stickers um, script from, I think it's like peachy plans. I'm not sure. Uh, and then below that I use a Planahanna TV icon to mark that I watch Sailor Moon. And then I tightly fit this quarter box in using a Lux Kitty Designs podcast icon and a Crime Junkie script from Planahanna and I do mark that the same way the three days that I listened to it. 
Um, so then, obviously, remote learning on Tuesday, and then the Planet Hannah TV to mark that I watched Sailor Moon again. And then I use a label with a Free Stickers Go uh, microphone to mark that I did my voiceover. I'm always so hopeful that I'll do it on Monday and then I put it off literally until Tuesday or even Wednesday morning. But then below that I use a Coffee Monsters Co. Friends Like the Door frame icon and that's to mark that I was doing the Friends puzzle. And then I did Crown Junkies the same way and also remote learning on Wednesday the same way pretty boring um and then I used the couch from the Coffee Monsters Co actually that was when my like son interrupted me for like so long I had to cut so much out but anyway I used this couch and that's to mark that we finished the puzzle. I move this around, but like below that, I use a Winston on the weird flag box from, well, the Winston's from Nightingale Paper Co. And then a Me Time script from Scribble Prince Co. But I do move this around because I didn't need everything up there and it was kind of crowded. Um, but then I use a movie clapper icon from Planet Hannah. Again, she doesn't sell the circle ones anymore. And an upload script from Planet Hannah. And then below that I am using a half box to mark watching or er, listening to Crime Junkies. This was the day that we actually caught up. And we didn't realize that we caught up and it like restarted and we were like, wait, we already heard about this one. So, yeah. Um, and then below that, I use a Crafty Planner Co. laptop sticker to mark that I did some job searching on my phone, not my laptop, but oh well. And then moving on to Thursday, I use a Coffee Monsters Co. like XI little emoji face to mark that I slept like shit. And then below that I use a PG Plans, which I cut to fit, like iced coffee and a Kenzie's Creations Starbucks run script, obviously self-explanatory. And then right below that I use a Lux Kitty Design, um, like Target bow icon, and a Target run script from... Scroll Prince Co., which obviously means that I went to Target. Um, because I slept like crap, I took a nap, so I marked that with a Fruity Sticker Co. pillow and a nap script from Planet Hannah. And then, I think this is the day that I got, like, a bunch of wax in the mail. So I used a... Oh, I moved that, apparently. But I do use a sticker that came in like a fantasy wax mount um, bundle to mark that I got mm, wax in the mail. And then this is also the night that I edited for like 16 years. So I used a Planet Hannah laptop icon and an edit script from Planet Hannah again. On Friday, I butcher this box and use a Fox and Pip like Drowning in Laundry Girl with this laundry script from SPC and then use a movie clapper icon and an upload script um, from Planet Hannah that's when I uploaded the massively long haul uh, my husband and I also had a call with my youngest teacher so I marked that with a sugar pop fizz um phone icon and then the xi emoji below that obviously mark that i slept like shit that day again um then i use a pa paper milk maru and a tidy up script from 
SPC to mark obviously cleaning and my anxiety was really bad this day so to mark that I used a once more with love like I don't know like weight on the munchkin's head and then an anxious grip from Kinsey's Creations and then I marked watching YouTube um the same way that I did earlier in the week with a Erica G Designs icon and a plan Hannah script. Moving on to Saturday, I finally got to sleep in. Um, so I used a Fruity Sticker Co. pillow icon and a sleep in script from Saucy Stickers. And then my youngest got his hair cut this day and his hair is so beautiful I will not let anybody buzz it it's scissors only so I marked that and then I like put together two washi strips I actually cut that one but um I put these together and use the plan for happy switch and animal crossing script from Alyssa's craft shop obviously self-explanatory and then my son right after getting his hair cut fell and hit his head on my daughter's bed and like really bruised and cut his ear it was pretty bad for a while um but I marked that because it was bad then using this girl and a chili script from Planet Hannah I marked that I got chilies um and then this is the night that we started watching The Mandalorian so I got these misfit um like Star Wars icons from Planet Hannah. So I used like the Boba Fett one to mark Mandalorian. Um, Sunday started my day with snuggles with my husband. So I use a Once More With Love cuddling munch, yeah, munchkin and then snuggle strip from Kinsey's Creations. And then I put together these washi strips again to mark um, Shark Week started and then more washi strips together to mark that my husband surprised me with flowers and that flower vase came from the kit deco. Then I used this big box to mark um, this was the day the laptops from the kit too but this is the day that I did the crystal um, Instagram live auction basically without it being an auction with my friend Gina and then I use another Boba Fett looking guy in the Mandalorian script from Planet Hannah to mark that we that was no we didn't finish it that day but we watched it so that was everything I'm gonna fill it all in and then this is the finished spread um I really like how it came out I love rose gold. I feel like it's not used enough. Um, but then I do go through what's left in the kit and I feel like I used a bunch of the boxes and not a lot of little things. But um, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see more in the future. So until the next video, bye.